Hey y'all, today I have 10 clear ornament ideas to share with you, so let's get to it. For this ornament, I cut a strip of flannel and I folded it to make a square. I used one of these little wooden fellers that I got from Hobby Lobby. In case you haven't figured it out yet, this is going to be a blanket. And this little fella right here is Baby Jesus. Folded the corner over because I wanted a nice clean edge around the head. Then I added a bead of hot glue to hold it in place while I work with the rest of it. I folded the bottom corner and then I put another bead of glue on the belly to hold it in place. Then I began to wrap him really tightly. I clipped off the little corner here because once it's wrapped, it still needs to fit through that opening of the ornament. Then I just brought the other side around, clipped off the corner, and hot glued it down. Cut out two stars out of gold cardstock and gave one a coat of Mod Podge and took a strand of fishing line and sandwiched between them. I spray painted the cap with gold metallic paint and I took out a little bit of this nativity straw from Hobby Lobby and cut it into little pieces. Then dropped them in the ornament using a funnel. I had to carefully squeeze baby Jesus through the opening of the ornament and this is why it's important not to get that blanket too thick. Is it weird that I kind of felt bad about this? <laughs> I just used a Cricut tool to place him, but you can use a skewer or a pencil or anything you want. I hot glued the fishing line to the cap and it is finished. To be clear, I am using all large plastic ornaments from the Dollar Tree. And I'm filling this one with these gravity defying foam balls from Dollar Tree. Yes gravity defying yeah i know it's static but it's my story i did find that using a paper funnel worked a lot better than the funnel that i was using oops once it was full i cut three two inch wide strips of tulle and i just tied all three to the top to give it sort of a, like a little bow effect i trimmed them down to length and that's it this one is a super fast easy but fun one you can do with the little ones all I did was take regular old school glue and created icicles all around the ball. I used a skewer to make more of a point on the ends of them when I thought maybe it was a little too rounded. And then I just sprinkled some fine white glitter on top of it. And I laid it on kind of thick at the top because I really wanted this thing to look iced over. And I worked it in small sections at a time because it dries pretty fast. I think it turned out really pretty. For this ornament, I used Rust-Oleum's white spray paint and gave it two coats. Ta-da! I sprayed some gold metallic paint onto some cardboard and wadded up some plastic wrap and just dabbed it on there. And if you go a little heavy, don't worry about it. Just keep patting and it'll kind of lighten it up. I do want to add that this spray paint dries pretty fast and it can become tacky. You don't want that because it might pull off the bottom layer of your paint. So just freshen it up and it should be all good. I spray painted the cap the same gold and that's it, that easy. This ornament right here had a little red truck on it and I was gonna paint it white, slap a bow on it, be done with it, but then this happened. As I was swirling it around to spread the paint out, I started thinking, if I don't mess this up, this could look like the truck was out in the snow, driving through the hills, getting his little tree, and it reminded me of the Griswolds. It took a while to dry, but using a minimal amount of paint is best. To add the trees, I loaded it up with a lot of hot glue on the bottom, and by hand, I stuck it through the opening of the ball. Then I grabbed it with tweezers and lowered it down to make it stick on the bottom. And I put the first one right in the center. And I did the same thing to the other two trees. And I didn't mind that they looked crooked because they're wire and you can easily manipulate them. I got some faux snow from the Dollar Tree and I used a funnel to sprinkle it on down in there. I finished it off by adding some buffalo check ribbon and that's it. For this ornament, I got a top hat from the doll section at Hobby Lobby, 
and I glued a strip of ribbon that I'd got from the Dollar Tree around the brim of the hat. Then I added two pieces of greenery and some silver foam balls to the center. Now for the actual ornament, I used the Minwax's water-based polycrylic in clear gloss. Once I opened it up, I gave it a gentle stir so that I wouldn't get any air bubbles. Poured some into a cup and then used it to pour into the ornament. I poured too much because it really doesn't take that much. Then I just swirled it around to coat the entire inside of the ornament. And then I turned it upside down in a cup and let it drain out for about three minutes. I used this ultra fine glitter from Hobby Lobby and just poured it through a funnel into the ball. And I just rotated it to make sure that the whole inside was covered evenly. I set it upright to dry for about 24 hours. I cut out a face on my Cricut using an image from Design Space. If you don't have a cutting machine, a paint marker is a great way to paint it on. To add a hanger, I just poked a hole in the top of the hat. Using a tapestry needle, I pulled through some baker's twine, and I knotted it on one end, clipped the other end, and knotted it. I added hot glue just to the inside of the hat, all the way around. Then I attached it to the top of the ornament. I wasn't feeling the eyes, so I used the end of my paintbrush and dipped it in white paint and add little white dots onto them. And this one is done. For this ornament, I made a Santa sack by cutting a piece of fabric and I folded the wrong sides together. I then hot glued the edges together, leaving one end open. I hot glued a strip of fleece to the top edge and turned it right side out. And I used a skewer to carefully poke out those corners. Then I used some more hot glue to connect the fleece. And I added more hot glue under the fleece to keep it in place. I stuck the sack in the opening, leaving the top still out so I could hold on to it while I poured some dried lentils into it. Once it was stuffed, I just tied some baker's twine around it and then I stuffed it down into the ball. I made gifts using the little wood cubes from the Dollar Tree and I painted one green, one white, and one red. I made miniature bows by using three different strips of ribbon. I dovetailed each end and stacked them on each other. I tied them together using a string of baker's twine and hot glued them to the wood cubes. I used tacky glue on the bottoms of each gift and used my tweezers to place them starting with one in Santa's sack and the other two beside it. I added Epsom salt for snow. I tied a strand of ribbon to the top and that's it for this one. I spray painted this ornament white. I dabbed a spouncer and Mod Podge matte and pressed straight down onto the ball and then sprinkled it with green glitter. Creating a polka dot effect, I just spread them out, leaving enough room to go back in and did the same thing with the red glitter. This ornament was the easiest and quickest of all. Just adding faux snow, small pine cones, and a piece of greenery with berries gives off that woodland winter vibe. This one is more personalized and another option. These come in a two pack for a dollar at Dollar General and they open up. I cut a circle out of a picture of me and my husband and put a piece of scotch tape on the back and stuck it to the top so that it wouldn't move around. So that's it y'all. 10 ornaments, 10 different styles. I hope you enjoyed it and you feel inspired. If you did, then don't forget to click subscribe. Bye y'all.